Hello, welcome to BBC News. We are at the end of the COP26 summit in Glasgow. Hearing no objections, it is so decided. After two marathon weeks, the UN Climate Summit has finally reached a deal aimed at limiting global warming. So, dear friends, after two years of incredibly hard work, we have our Glasgow Climate Pact. The revised deal will mean countries will have to strengthen their emission cutting targets for 2030. But after a last minute intervention from India, the commitment to phase out coal is watered down, leaving many nations deeply disappointed. Amid expressions of disappointment, a visibly emotional COP26 President Alex Sharma apologised for the way in which the summit had ended. May I just say to all uh, delegates, um, I apologise for the way this process has unfolded um, and uh, I am deeply sorry. I'm Sean Lay in London with the other headlines this hour. Belarus says it's increasing aid to the migrants it's been accused of trafficking to the Polish border in retaliation against EU sanctions. In Sudan, a doctor's group says security forces have killed five protesters attending mass pro-democracy demonstrations. to Glasgow after two weeks of talks, marathon negotiations, a final deal has been agreed here at the COP26 climate summit, but a key commitment on the future use of coal has been watered down at the last minute. Nations from around the world agreed to phase down rather than phase out coal, something both China and India had wanted. The UN Secretary General Antonio Gutierrez said the world was still knocking on the door of a climate catastrophe and the activist Greta Thunberg says COP26 has been limited to blah, blah, blah. But Boris Johnson says the agreement is a big step forward and it's the first ever international agreement to phase down coal and a roadmap to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius.